This is uh, my version of a recent um, tutorial that Bruce gave. Preoperative chemo radiation surgery, standard of care in US and Europe, all patients with clinically stage two and three rectal cancer. Because low rates of local recurrence, potential for sphincter preservation, allows integration of systemic chemotherapy, acceptable acute and late toxicity. Well, you can get low rates of local recurrence with good surgery without radiotherapy. And the evidence base for sphincter sparing, we've got meta-analysis, we've got Cochrane reviews, we've got randomized trials, none of which support that. So I'm afraid that's going. The integration of systemic chemotherapy. Well, you do integrate chemotherapy, but I wouldn't say it's systemic. Five or six short weeks with a low dose of chemotherapy and we don't see any impact on survival, so if you think that's systemic chemotherapy, I'm not on the same planet. So that's gone too. Acceptable acute and late toxicity. It's a bit like all those phase one studies where the, there's horrendous toxicity and the conclusion is this is manageable toxicity. It depends whether you're the author or the patient. Um, Acceptable acute toxicity. Your NSABP RO3 trial had 3% toxic deaths. I don't guess that they would have said that it was acceptable. And late toxicity, the longer I see these patients, the more morbidity that I observe. So I'm not sure about that either. Some of you know that I'm really interested in Darwin. For about six years, I've been writing a play about Darwin. Probably never get written, completed, but... So one of my favorite sayings from Darwin is, it's not the strongest of the species that survives, nor the most intelligent that survives, it's the one that is most adaptable to change. And I don't think Bruce has adapted to the major advances that we have got, which is the huge improvements in surgical technique with TME and with the extra levator surgery, which frankly, you know, the, the business about lymph nodes if you have a specimen which has a big defect in it and you've got positive lymph nodes, you've probably left lymph nodes in the patient. But if you have a proper specimen, the lymph nodes are in the bucket. So, high quality MRI, that is incredibly important to us all. We're all using that on a daily basis. And that's driving the quality of surgery and it's fed back by the improvements of pathology. They're driving one another in an endless audit and we're getting better.